friends, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Martina Lilly. Today we are going to compare the ever so famous, the cult classic Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wands versus the new Tarte Beauty Wands and we are going to see are these formulas even different from each other, which ones do I personally prefer and why. Before we get into it, let's do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, notification bell, thank you so much if you do. It truly helps my channel out and now let's get started. Before I zoom too, too close in and we get all up in the nitty gritty, I wanted to just cover off some basic details of these ones. There are going to be timestamps below for you guys if you only want to see certain like products like the blush or the contour or whatever, or you don't want to hear this part. Charlotte Tilbury has had her Hollywood beauty ones out for I feel like years and years at this point. She has expanded the range with different types. Um, she started with the contour wand and the spotlight wand, eventually she added the I guess she calls these the beauty light ones, but these are like the blushes, sorry, and they're like the metallic one, and then most recently she has added the matte ones to her collection. Now I'm starting to see a lot of brands come out with their dupes of these Charlotte Tilbury ones, and the latest one, and probably the one that has interested me the most, is the Tarte ones that they have released. I don't know why these really caught my attention. I grabbed these three ones, and I thought we could compare like same, the same, same, but different with the Charlotte Charlotte Tilbury ones. So the first ones are the contour ones. So originally Charlotte Tilbury brought out the Hollywood contour wand right here and it has this kind of famous gimmicky almost like packaging and it kind of like can turn off and on but it gets really messy and kind of gross if I'm honest with you. I would love to see, I get it, I get the kind of gimmick behind it. I think especially nowadays, especially with TikTok and stuff, like products are trying to go viral. Granted, these are quite a bit older, but in terms of like not even changing the packaging, I can get it because this is going to have like a little viral moment where you put the dots on the face, all that kind of a thing. But I do feel like a lot of people's consistent feedback with these ones is the packaging and how messy and annoying it kind of gets. So I, even if she just kept this shape, but like created like a doe foot applicator or like a squeezy tube, I personally would prefer that. But hey, that's just my opinion. This one is 60 Australian dollars. This one is 54 Australian dollars. That's gonna vary depending on where, like what currency you are, where you live. Both of these have 12 mil of product. Both of them were made in Italy. This one actually has an expiry of 12 months and this one six months. That doesn't necessarily mean this will expire at six months. The expiry dates with cosmetics is actually how long the company also pays uh, like to get them tested for. So potentially they just wanted to get these products released pretty quickly and they could only test them for six months or maybe it is six months. They're too soon. It's too new to find out, but you know, keep that in mind. Now shade range, this one has two, light, medium and medium dark. This one has seven. So to be fair, if we're basing it off of an initial reaction, my pick is the Tarte one because the Tarte shade range is pretty phenomenal if I do say so myself. I'm not a makeup artist, so open to the feedback for, you know, all skin tones down below and what you think of that shade range. But the Tarte one really does go deep dark. Like I really do think that Tarte has taken a lot of the feedback they've been given, rightly so, and has implemented it really well, particularly with this product and its shade range. I really think there will be a shade for everyone. Charlotte's has two shades. Granted, I think this shade in particular, the light medium, will stretch quite far from that pale to medium range. However, the medium dark of this one, it's not gonna stretch as far as it needs to with our deeper skin tones, our deeper dark skin tones. Let's talk about ingredients for a second. I'm going to post them on the screen here while I'm talking. The first, I think seven to eight ingredients of these two products are exactly the same as each other, like exactly the same. But the fact that these have the first same seven ingredients or eight, give or take, that's a really good sign that these are going to be almost identical formulas. So if you're worried about formula wise, they're pretty much going to be the same based off of that, right? Tarte's product or Tarte's uh, sculpt tape and also all of the blush tape and the glow tape has been marketed with the fact that they have a lot more skincare ingredients, better for you ingredients in there than the Charlotte Tilbury one. I think the Charlotte Tilbury one is straight a cosmetic use, whereas Tarte's like, yeah, but we've added these extra benefits. That's a completely personal decision to you. I have no idea whether or not those ingredients actually do anything to the betterment of your skin. Let's move on to the blush ones. I'm gonna compare like metallic ones. I'll show you guys the shades that I've got when we go to do the demo. 
exactly the same. 60 Australian dollars, 54 Australian dollars, 12 mils, made in Italy, 12 month expiry, 6 month expiry. Applicators are exactly the same, packaging is exactly the same. I didn't show you the Tarte packaging for the Sculpt Tape, so I'll show you with this. But it has that exact, you know, spongy tip applicator. Apart from the caps being different, like, I don't know if you can see here, this one's like rounded, this one, or like pointy, this one's completely rounded. Other than that, this packaging is I. Identical. The blush lights for Charlotte Tilbury, I believe there's like seven shades of this. I'm actually going to put it on the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head, apologies. And it is like a more shimmery metallic formula, this one. Whereas the matte ones, if you don't want any metallic, there's four shades in this. And, you know, that's going to do it for you. The Tarte blushes used to have three, but I just saw today as I'm filming this, they've added a fourth shade called Cherry. And it looks absolutely beautiful and it is so cute. So the blush ones... For the, or the blush tapes for Tarte right now have four shades directly on the Tarte website. Lastly, we have the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight. This is a highlighter and the Tarte Glow Tape in as the highlighter. 60, 54, um, 12 mil, 12 mil, made in Italy, made in Italy, 12 month expiry, 6 month expiry, same, same. And the ingredient list is very similar. So I actually didn't talk about, apologies, the ingredients list of the blushes. So I'm going to put them on the screen for you right now. And it is the same situation where the first up to 7 to 10 ingredients are exactly the same. And then they vary from that point on with Tarte's claims of having additional skincare benefits. And then we also have the ingredients list for the highlighters, which is the same situation. Majority of those first ingredients are the same, and then Tarte goes on to claim those skincare benefits. So we're going to zoom in a little bit closer now, and I'm going to give you a demo. Half my face with the Charlotte Tilbury ones, and half my face with the Tarte ones. Let's do it. I already have primer, foundation, and concealer on, and I have just powdered my under eyes right here. So I will link all of the products that I have on my face down below for you guys but initially just in case you want to know the foundation it is the KVD Good Apple Serum Foundation so I have not powdered any other area of my face except my under eyes and now we're going to go in with these ones so let me put the shades on the back of my hand for you guys so you can see and compare so this one right here is the Tarte Cool Bronze and this one right here is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Medium I have two sponges here, both Real Techniques, um, so that I can use the Charlotte products with one sponge and the Tarte products with the other sponge. I don't like to use my, I don't like to use brushes, I should say, really, with the Charlotte Tilbury ones and also the Tarte ones. I find, and one of my biggest complaints about these wands, regardless of the brand, is that if you're not careful, the formula will lift your products underneath. You do need to really use a light hand, at least in my experience and the way that the products react with my skin. I find that it really, really easily will lift your products underneath it if you're not careful. So when I see people kind of using the dots on the face, it kind of makes me nervous. And I'm also like, I, I just wonder... I guess I'm always like, what's different about your skin that you can do that I can't that I can't do that with mine? Because I really do find it lifts my foundation. So, and I use a light hand, I really do. So I'm not quite sure, but hey. So I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury product first, and I just kind of work it into my sponge, and I'm just gonna tap this where I want it on the face. And even if you use, like, see how that's quite a lot. Even if you use a lot, it's kind of okay because you just take the other side of your sponge that doesn't have any product. See how it blends in just really quickly and easily? I will say that about actually both of these products is they're very, very uh, emollient and malleable in terms of how you blend them out as long as you're careful with the application over other products. But I do recommend a sponge with both of these products personally, but that's just my opinion. Not a makeup artist, you do you. This product stretches pretty far as well. I haven't put any more product on my sponge from what you have seen. I'm just gonna build this up right here, just a touch more. So that is the Charlotte Tilbury wand on that side. Now let's go ahead and do the Tarte one on this side. So I've got my separate sponge. I'm gonna pick up again that product, work it into the sponge you know, and then tap this. Exactly the same process. And I gotta be honest with you, the formulas are pretty much the same. <laughs> I really, really do find them to be, honestly, 
I find them to be the same. I do find the Tarte one, I'll be honest, a little bit more glowy. Not in a bad way, I just find it a little bit more hydrating and does tend to, I find, sit a little bit nicer on my skin. I really do. That could also be the shade. I actually find this cool bronze shade. I don't know if you can even see, like, see how soft and natural that is. You can kind of see this um, Charlotte Tilbury one a little bit more. That could also be application, but I just find this cool bronze shade is actually really soft and natural for my skin tone as well so i actually do like the tart one a little bit more it just looks a little bit more healthy but we're talking like tenth like tenth of a tenth of a tenth difference you know we're splitting hands here but for me the tart sculpt tape is the clear winner in these two um, because the the formula I do like slightly more, the shade I like slightly slightly more, and then overall with that shade range from the Tarte one, I just I just prefer that. Now let's go ahead and do the blushes. If you've watched my channel for a while and you kind of know the order of preference of how I like to do my makeup, you would know that normally I would actually powder my face right now, and I would usually put cream blush over the top of my powder. I find, however, with both of these ones, I can't do that. With both of these ones, if I apply these over powder. Sometimes I can finesse the Charlotte Tilbury one, sometimes depending on the powder and my skin type on the day, but I just find that both of these products lift my, like if I apply it over powder, no matter how light the touch, no matter what I'm doing, brush, sponge, fingertip, doesn't matter, it's going to literally like leave this like bald patch almost of skin where all of the makeup has just completely worn away. So I do like to use these underneath powder. Now I got the shade Peach Gasm in the Charlotte Tilbury and Peach in the Tarte. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you. These are the swatches. This one right here is the Tarte Peach and this one right here is the Charlotte Tilbury Peach Gasm. Honestly, really same, same, but difference, just an ever so slight shift of tone difference, but really not much. You can see they are both really quite glowy. So I've got my Charlotte Tilbury sponge here. I'll take a clean side and pick up the product and really work it into the sponge. I'm going to go ahead and really, really lightly tap this on. I'd rather take my time and build this up than kind of go really gung-ho with the product because I really do find this one out of all three for both the Tarte and the Charlotte Tilbury is the one that's if it's anything's gonna lift the product it's gonna be this one so I'm gonna leave that there as you can see it is very glowy like for me it just really does look like a highlighter normally it's not a product that I would super duper love I'll be honest with you um, but it does have its moment for me. You know what? I did a speed reviews the other day and I do have to clarify. Maybe I'll pop a pin comment actually on that video. I said that I liked the Glowgasm more than I like the matte, but I've actually changed my mind after really testing this and testing this. Um, I actually find the matte ones a lot easier to apply than the Glowgasm one and I like the level of pigment. I just think like there's not a whole lot of pigment here and it's just, it does have a moment, don't get me wrong, especially like in summer and spring, I think. I think this is like a beautiful blush, on vacation blush, that kind of a thing. But it's, it's not as, for me personally and how I like to do my makeup, it's too finessey. I'm going to powder over this. And so what's the point kind of thing? So yeah, it has a moment, but it's it's not my favorite. I'm going to take the other sponge and the clean side and pick up the Tarte product now. And surprisingly, out of the two of these, I actually like the Charlotte Tilbury wand a lot more than the Tarte wand. So I find the Tarte wand, it doesn't, and it could just be this shade, so keep that in mind, but it doesn't have a lot of pigment to it. I find it really, really just goes on like a highlighter. Like, can you see? It really, you can kind of see, this one doesn't have a lot of pigment either. I could definitely build it up, but see, this just looks like I've not put anything on and I have really used a little, quite a bit of product here. So I just find that on application, the Tarte Peach Color doesn't provide any pigment. Look, it just looks like I've got a juicy bit of highlight right there, right? So I don't know if you can see. If you can see it in real life, you can see a slight tint of product but not really anything at all. So I don't super rate the Tarte Blush Tape, if I'm honest. I do think that the Charlotte Tilbury one wins out out of the two of these just because it does have more pigment to it on 
um, the application. Like I really just feel like this looks, it has an ever so soft tint, but that's about it. So we have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Wand in Spotlight and then the Tarte Glow Tape in Pearl, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Pearl Glow. So let me swatch these. Now I really love the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight Wand. This is actually my second one of these. I repurchased it after I used my first one up. And like, it's quite hard for me to use a liquid highlight, especially up. I'll be honest, I have quite a few. So this one, I find showing um, highlights on screen so hard because they're transparent. But this one right here is Pearl Glow from Tarte. And this one here is Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight. And the difference between these two is, you might not be able to see it so much from the swatches, but you'll probably see it more on the face, is the Charlotte Tilbury one has more of a true metallic shine to it, especially when applied to the skin. It really is more of like, like for example, you know the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter? That's really like a, um, a natural glow within. There's no metallicness to it really. It's like that sweat kind of peeking through look. Whereas the Spotlight Wand from her is, it does have that metallic sheen to it. So if you want that more like blinding, it's still very natural, don't get me wrong. But if you want a little bit more of a blinding highlight, that's this one. Whereas the Tarte one I find is like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter had a baby with the Say Super Glowy Gel. And it is beautiful. It does have some pigment, like a little bit of pigment to it, but really it melts into the skin to be quite natural and just an inner glow. So I'm going to show you how it applies. I've got my sponge and I'll take another clean side for the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight Wand. I mean, it's going to be a little bit hard to tell with these, these glowy ones, but you know. So can you see that like metallic right there? Potentially not because the blush wand is so glowy, but it really does add. And look, don't get me wrong. It is very nice. It is very natural. It is very, very pretty. I do really like the Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight Wand. So I'm going to take the sponge that we were using for Tarte and pick up the pearl side. And again, this is already so glowy, so we'll see how we go with being able to like see this, but see how that is so natural. Like it is so beautiful and natural and glowy. And I have to admit, I'm a huge fan of this, but I'm a bigger fan of this. This is impeccable. This one to me, like both of these as a side note, actually do go okay over powder. Like this is out of the, out of all three of the wands, um, these two go over powder just fine. But I do have to admit out of the two of these, the, the huge winner for me is this Tarte Pearl Glow. Like this Tarte Pearl Glow has actually become a fave liquid highlight for me within my collection out of all my products. Like it's up there with the Lisa Eldridge to me. I don't know what it is. It's just this, and I know it's kind of hard to separate it just cause of that glowy blush, blush, but like it really melts into the skin to be so natural and seamless. And it's really like, if you are someone that wants a glow from within, but doesn't want it to have that highlighter look at all, it, it, it does that. It really, I really, really like this one. And this is actually my favorite wand out of all of them. Like it's impeccable in my personal opinion. So this is what the wands look like on their own. That is the Tarte side and that is the Charlotte Tilbury side. I'm actually going to go and do the rest of my face and we will come back and I am going to put like my powder products on over the top of this and everything but this is what it looks like with no other products on the face all right friends this is the finished look i have put powder products on top of those ones so you can see kind of how those ones look how i would normally do my makeup i will link all of the products that i'm using on my face down below for you guys just remember they are affiliate links if you use them thank you so much and i'll put what eyeshadows and everything that i use for you guys just in case you want to create this look because i did not film it i'm sorry but it is very easy to recreate um, so overall, I feel like I summarized my thoughts on those ones pretty well. I think either or, you know, they are good products if you think that they're a product suited to your makeup style, but you know, everyone's value of a dollar is different. Everyone's makeup preferences are different. So, you know, this is just my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. And if you are watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.